part of uh, Houston traffic. It's right outside our RV park we're staying at. We have to deal with every day. And like I said, we're at Advanced RV Resort. It's in Houston's Pearland, Texas. One of the things that uh, we did have to do while we worked the rodeo, they, when they knew we were working the rodeo, we did have to pay um, the full amount that we were going to be staying here, which is almost $1,000, which included an electricity deposit. Uh, we had to pay that up front, which is kind of unusual. Where we parked that they gave us for our RV. Um, we stayed in site 551. You can see the trees are almost on top of the RV. I get up, got up there and tried to sweep off the slides because uh, we're leaving tomorrow and it was covered. Um, one of the other things about the underneath the trees, they told me the Wi Fi wouldn't work very good. Um, I pulled the RV as far over as I could. Um, because of this pedestal here for the power and the water, um, as you can see, my slide is right up against it. I can't even open this um, hatch to unplug my power without putting my slide in. And then the um, this is how long it is too. I mean, my RV is not very big, and. It's only about 35 feet with the uh, pin box, but um, this far off the back of the uh, slab, actually my jacks are on the slab, but I am extending way back past that, almost to the fence here. So you don't have very much space in some of these spots. And I tried to pull my truck in next to it, but it just wouldn't fit. So I parked part of my but my left side tires were on the grass here. And then I got some lady who came by when we first got here and said I can't park there. So I went up to the office to see if I could get another site. They said they would see what they could do. And that's as far as I went. I went back to check on it. He said that he was still checking. Well, here it is three weeks later. And I guess he's still checking. But we're going to be leaving tomorrow. Um, so they're not very accommodating when it comes to that stuff. I even told them that what size rig I had and what my size of my truck being a dually. Right now, um, I tried to rinse, or since we're leaving tomorrow, I'm trying to fill my tank up, trying to get laundry done, tried to wash out my grill and clean it up, just get ready to leave. And lo and behold, they have a problem with power and the water is, uh, there's no water pressure at all right now. It's about 5 on Friday. Like I said, we'll be leaving tomorrow and uh, we haven't got our laundry done. Can't fill our tank up because there's no water pressure. So we're kind of in a pickle that way. Hopefully we'll get up early in the morning and everything will be back to normal and we can get some of this stuff done. propane fill station here not quite sure what they charge but it is available this is a gated RV park 